in this lecture we are going to learn about maxwell's third equation and we will derive the maxwell's third equation in both the differential as well as in the integral form so the maxwell's third equation is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so it is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so according to the faraday's law of emi we can say that the electromotive force that is induced is equals to minus of time rate of change of magnetic flux so the induced emf always depends upon negative of rate of change of magnetic flux let me write it induced emf is always depends upon negative of time rate of change of magnetic flux and this is the mathematical expression of this theory part let us give it as equation number 1 now we can also say that the induced emf that is also being equals to integration over closed loop over a line e dot dl so this is the another formula for the induced emf let us give it as equation number 2 now on equating both these equation number 1 and 2 we get on equating equation 1 and equation 2 we get integration over a line e dot dl is equals to minus of time rate of change of magnetic flux that is 5b since we know that the magnetic flux 5b is equals to integration over closed surface b dot ds so this is the basic formula for the magnetic flux and if we replace 5b with the this formula over there then this equation will become integration over a line e dot dl is equals to negative of time rate of change of integration over closed surface b dot ds so this is the expression that we get after replacing the magnetic flux with this expression now if we take this d by dt inside this surface integral then we get line integral e dot dl is equals to minus of surface integral del by del t of magnetic flux that is b ds so this is nothing but maxwell third equation in integral form so this is maxwell 
third equation in integral form now let us differentiate the maxwell's third equation in point form or we can say that differential form now to derive the maxwell's third equation in differential form from this integral form we have to apply stokes theorem why we are applying the stokes theorem because the stokes theorem is capable of converting this line integral into surface integral that's why on applying stokes theorem this e dot dl can also be represented like integration over closed surface curl of electric field that is del cross e into ds and it is nothing but equals to minus of integration over closed surface del over del t of b dot ds now if we take this term in the right hand side into the left hand side then it will become integration over closed surface del cross e into ds is plus this negative sign will become positive when this term comes in lhs integration over closed surface del over del t of b dot ds that is equals to zero only now for converting this expression into the differential form we have to remove this surface integral so on removing the surface integral we get del cross e equals to minus of del over del t of b so this is the final expression that we get after removal of surface integral and transferring this term in the rhs and this expression is nothing but maxwell's third equation in differential form so this is maxwell third equation in differential form so this is all about the maxwell's third equation and in this lecture we had derived all the maxwell's third equation concept and its integral as well as its differential form if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you